There will be lots of chances later on this year to look at the PlayStation 5 games. Today, I want to talk a bit about our goals for the PlayStation 5 hardware and how they influenced the development of the console. To me, the SSD really is the key to the next generation. It's a, a game changer. And it was the number one ask from developers for PlayStation 5. As in, we know it's probably impossible, but can you put an SSD in it? I want to focus in on just one number here, which is how long it takes to load a gigabyte of data from a hard drive. The difficulty being that hard drives are neither particularly fast nor flexible. If all your data is in one block, which is frankly not very likely, you can load 50 to 100 megabytes a second, depending on where the data is located on the hard drive. Let's assume it's on the outer edge, which means loading a gigabyte takes 10 seconds. If you compress your game packages, you can fit more data on the Blu-ray disc and also effectively boost your hard drive read speed by the compression ratio. We support Zlib decompression on PlayStation 4 that gets you something like 50% more data on the disk and 50% higher effective read speed. Unfortunately, though, it's highly likely that your data is scattered around in various files on the hard drive, as well as sourced from multiple locations within those files. So lots of seeks are needed at 2 to 50-ish milliseconds each. My rule of thumb is that the hard drive is spending two-thirds of its time seeking and only a third of its time actually loading data. Putting all of that together, a gigabyte is very roughly 20 seconds to load from a hard drive. Now, a gigabyte is not much data. Games are using five or six gigabytes of RAM on PlayStation 4, so boot times and load times can get pretty grim. Or to put that differently, as a player, you wait for the game to boot, wait for the game to load, wait for the level to reload every time you die, and you wait for what is euphemistically called fast travel. And all of that leads to the dream. What if we could have not just an SSD, but a blindingly fast SSD? If we could load five gigabytes a second from it, what would change? Now, SSDs are completely different from hard drives. They don't have seeks as such. If you have a 5 gigabyte a second SSD, you can read data from a thousand different locations in that second, pretty much at speed. As for time to load a gigabyte, this is next gen we're talking about, so memory is bigger. Instead, we should be asking how long to load two gigabytes. And the answer is about a quarter of a second. I mean, that's amazing. We're talking two orders of magnitude, meaning very roughly 100 times faster. Which means at five gigabytes a second for the SSD, the potential is that the game boots in a second. There are no load screens. The game just fades down while loading a half dozen gigabytes and fades back up again. Same for a reload. You're immediately back in the action after you die. And fast travel becomes so fast it's blink and you miss it. As game creators, we go from trying to distract the player from how long fast travel is taking, like those Spider-Man subway rides, to being so blindingly fast that we might even have to slow that transition down.